Hey guys and welcome back to Minecraft. My name is Twitch here. We are playing on my publicly available server. I just failed to take my helmet off there. That is amazing. We are in my equipment room because we have just updated to 1.20 and it has been known in the past that sometimes an update will come along and uh, corrupt my equipment. Right here we can see that we have a bow with fortune on it. I don't, uh, don't ask me how that happened. An update 1.19 came along and destroyed that. Thankfully none of my equipment has suffered such things. Also, 1.17 came along and reset all my achievements. You'll be glad to know that that did not happen here. But what did happen is we, we got a whole bunch of new stuff on the server. Yeah, no, I did. this is just... That's right, 1.20 I shall be calling the customization update. They want to call it the Trails and Tales update. No, 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 no. We need to go out and we need to go and find all of these things to update and uh, customize our armor. It is very much a customization update. And we had a stream a couple of days ago now. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. It's a good big group. Good big group. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, we went out. We, we raided the, uh, the, the bastions, the various bastions and stuff in the nether to go and find ourselves some of the equipment that we can find in there. I should probably show you what these do but first a little PSA Be bridge what I'm about to show you will consume a very limited resource that was only available at certain places in your world. So before I even show you the little tutorial, yes, tutorial, you heard me, uh, we're going to come into this area here. Because I want to use this snout smithing template, I'm going to go ahead and I've got seven diamonds. Is the, uh, I've got nine here, but we, we, only, we only need seven. I also have a bit of blackstone. For the different smithing templates, you need different materials. I just happen to know that blackstone is the one that will open up the ability to duplicate this. So, what is this thing? Let me show you. If we come over to the smithing table, they gave it another use. If we come over to the smithing table, we can see that we've got the, a whole bunch of um, slots open up here. I'm going to just shift-click my armor in there. I want to give it, a, you know, a trim. That's what these things are called. They're armor trims. I want to give it a trim. We're going to pop that in, and I want to make it out of redstone, because I think redstone and diamond just seem to go well together. You can see it puts a little thing on the side of my helmet. It changes this, but more importantly, if you watch the, uh, the, the snout smithing, template there uh, that just consumed that oh I got I got an achievement as well oh, okay that's GZ's to me that is GZ's to me uh, I can't really see the, the, the thing it's done to me though uh, it's on oh look if I look over that way it's on the side of my helmet it's on the side of my helmet shall we put this here? yeah look at that so we found this one as I say in the bastions it was just inside a chest oh that was exactly what I was looking for in that chest but I can't have time to Stop the look. Uh, we, we also found uh, this netherite upgrade template here. Uh, that is obviously needed to upgrade your uh, items from netherite, uh, sorry, from diamonds to netherite. I'm going to take my helmet back now. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we also went and played with another piece of the uh, new mechanics. We went out and did a little bit of archaeology. We found some more smithing templates and these pottery shirts. I'm hoping that we can go and do a little bit of archaeology together in a moment. But uh, I first, I want to show you how cool this stuff is uh, let's put those on the opposite side skull up top brick down here uh, look look at this decorated pot that we've uh, managed to get uh, we, we got this like I say from archaeology and th there's so many of these shards I, I think the 16 32 something like that uh, you can you can oh you can punch it with your fist and you get the, uh, the the pot itself, but if you break it with a sword, you get all your individual bits back as well. Isn't that cool? But that's just like a whole load of rubbish. Do you want to know what we're actually getting on with today? Let me show you indeed. If I walk around into my main storage room over here, you can see we've got a little separate chest on the side here. Uh, grey concrete powder, like three shulker boxes of grey concrete powder, uh, light grey shulker boxes of andesite, some blocks of iron, like a shulker box full of blocks of iron. What am I up to. Those of you who have been around on the channel for more than a couple of weeks might remember that over here at Spawn we are working on a redstone game. A redstone game of battleships. You know, like I fire at A4, ah, you sunk my battleship. Yeah, we're trying to build that game over here. I've already got the redstone going. You can press any button on this wall here and it will raise up the uh, corresponding tile on your opponent's board. Uh, they'll tell you whether, obviously they would have laid down their battleships here. To make that happen, I want to I wanna make some maps. Where do I do that? 
Well, obviously, in the end, where I've already blasted out a huge amount of space for... Uh, I know there's a hotkey to do this, but I don't know how to do it. There we go. A huge amount of space for this thing that I've been working on. This is a hologram of uh, something I've been working on in creative mode here. That's right. It's a giant, giant spaceship. But actually, it's only two maps worth of spaceship. But as you can see, I've gone to great detail, great pains to make sure that all the inside has been uh, fully filled out here. Of course, um, it's, it's a work in progress. I, I, I have an idea of where people's uh, cabins are going to be. And then we've got a little bit of a bridge being worked on up here. But that's not the bit I'm working on straight away. No, right through if we fly down this corridor here. We've got an engine room that I want to work on. We've got ourselves. We, we've got an onboard hangar here. We have got goods in. We've got cargo in between. There's a, there's a bunch to be getting on with here. And uh, I think... I think that's what I'm going to be getting on with next. There is no way I finish all of this before we go on a little bit of an explore, by the way. But we'll get the engines done, at least. Past Twitchy deals with the fact that the replay mod hasn't actually uh, updated yet. Uh, over there is a desert temple that I have already raided out. Uh, someone was asking me, I believe it was wise, for the coordinates. There we go, coordinates for you, my friend. But over this way, look, there's a whole nother one over there. And I don't have all the pottery shards that we could possibly get from there. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. You know, I really like flying with this behind the shoulder camera view I, I i think it's one of the better ways to travel around in minecraft this desert temple it's a bit more buried than normal i think we should be able to gain access yeah let's go through the top here hopefully it's not too dark. Did I bring any torches? Of course I didn't bring any torches. What type of Minecraft that has torches on them at all times? Now, it looks suspiciously similar to every other desert temple we've ever seen, right? But actually, what's this? There's sand on the floor. I hear. Did you hear him? There's a skeleton rattling around somewhere. There he is. Hello. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, back, back to the sand. Uh, unfortunately, none of this... Oh, there it is. There's a very sp suspicious looking part, bit of sand over there. You might tell that the, uh, the, the, the texture is very, diff very, very slightly different between one here and one here. You can see it's dark there, dark there. It's kind of not like this here. They're actually very difficult to tell. Uh, but you, you come along with your, with your brand new brush item here. You make that with a feather, a piece of string and some copper. No, a, a stick and some copper. Uh, and then you, um, 
you right click the dirt and uh, this time I got an emerald I mean yay emeralds not not quite what I'm after but uh, desert temples now come with this fancy new room attached to them you know I, I need some light you need some light we all need some light obviously jack-o-lantern being the uh, the light source of choice here I think we uh, were doing okay you might note that the sand kind of stops but what what's this there's there's more sand back there uh, I'm gonna slowly to look look at this we, we can actually carry on going down here the path look look the, the path continues there's stairs here and everything but you've got to be very careful very careful because if you do anything to disrupt the suspicious sand uh, it will turn into regular sand and then you're, you're very very sad there are are ways of getting it back. I think both of these are suspicious sand. If you really, really, really wanted to know, you could uh, look at the uh, the whole bunch of stuff on the side over here. And your target block is Minecraft suspicious sand. So yeah, this this definitely is what we're looking for. Oh oh, I got me a diamond. I've got me a diamond. One of the better items that you get, but still not the one that whew, sand fell. I didn't like that. That. That was horrible. I didn't like that at all. What about under this pillar? Okay, this one's okay. I think we could probably put those pillars back uh, and not worry about it too much. But that very gulp-inducing, shall we say? Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Okay, so that one is just regular sand. Ooh, you know the what? That one in between could have been suspicious sand, and we wouldn't have known. But what about this one? What have we got inside here? It is it really? Is it really a second diamond? Okay, I'm about this. Uh, and th this, this is the. Uh, the allure of archaeology here. We, we have no real idea what we're going to be digging up. It's it's almost like, dare, dare I mention the G word? I mean, loot boxes, right? Is this not? I mean, apart from we're not using real money, so I suppose that's fine. But surely we are just gambling with something very much more precious, our time. Okay, I'll get this far. There doesn't appear to be any more suspicious sand here. Though this room, quite expansive, quite expansive. So I'm, I'm going to dig through. Look at that. I just dropped it another block but thankfully we know that it is safe this way because we uncovered all of the pillars uh not seeing much of the suspicious sand this time around that, that that's a bit of a shame i was expecting more and really i'm not after i'm really not after diamonds or emeralds these are things that i can get in a whole manner of other ways uh, the pottery sherds though they are definitely what I'm after you, you can also get a smithing template from it but here's another one what have we got here you can also get a smithing template a uh, really another emerald I'm, I'm not sure I'm about this um, but I, I've already got two of those smithing templates so I'm not that worried oh no you don't get you get them from the chests underneath we get them from the chests underneath uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish digging this out Okay, two more chances for glory. That actually looks like that might be it for this area. So let's see what we got. Oh, yes, this is it. This is what I've been looking for. And it looks like it might be a new one for me. Yes, indeed. It's that prize pottery shard. Uh, I've already got the miner and the skull one. So we, 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 I can't remember what the other one is. Oh, please give, give us the other one here. I don't think I recognize this one either. Oh, uh, it's the skull one. Uh, I've already got a copy of that. But that, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool uh i'm just gonna check the battle look at that there is one more one more i mean obviously now i'm just looking for a single item out of a loot table of maybe three or four items so the chances were pretty low there but it's, isn't archaeology cool this um uh, isn't the only place we can do this though this is a very special place that needs a very special build on it. If anybody has any idea what to put there, let me know. I will execute the, the wildest of plans. The, the, just, just look at it, though. It needs something. There are a couple of other places you can do archaeology, and one of them is just behind me. I'm also going to need my helmet back on. That over there, it's an underwater ruin. Uh, I've, I've just kind of flown out a little way. There's a, a whole bunch of other POIs on the way, but this is a very special place on the server where things have been loaded and unloaded and some things have made it through updates and some things haven't. Look at this amazing landscape around us, but I'm just going to kind of um, come down here. I'm going to go all the way down and touch the floor because I like to be able to swim and whilst that... Oh my gosh, one of them's got a trident. I'm done for. Oh no, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Guess who should have brought a uh, shield with them? Oh, look, there he is. I spotted him. Well, me and my half stack of jack-o'-lanterns are ready. But you can see, look, more of this sand. Uh, let's try and... 
deal with this guy first. In fact, there's, I'm going to get slowly swamped. Let's go back up to the top, take a, a little bit of evasive action. I was expecting just to go down and make a little bit of a uh, an excavation, but that should be fine. I think we're going to have to take out Mr. Trident Boy first, if I can actually just keep this sideways strafe on the go. One hit. I, it might even just be one or two hits and run away. Did I just hear something break, or was it the Trident? I'm going to go with the Trident. I don't know if I've just got a bad setup or what, but I find these Trident Wielders no joke. There, there's a few of them now. Oh, man, what what is this? Well, I should be able to hopefully get... No, no, I can't even. That was a bad approach. <laughs> are, they, are they hitting each other? That's fun. Okay, maybe I would do better fighting them inside. Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Uh, my thought being that they can't get the uh, the long shots on me, but mm, I'm not sure about that. I'm going to try and use this ruin to my advantage here. I can't actually see the boy I'm fighting, but let's, let's come out and around this way. I'm going to try and grab air on this magma block. Yeah, it's working. It's working. That, that's good. I should probably eat as well. I'm ready for the fast um, escape. I mean, fast escape while shifting on a magma block is an interesting uh, proposition. Uh, he just killed his friend. Did you did you see that? I saw that. He just totally killed his friend. One, two. All right, we got, we got him there. I'm definitely being battered around by at least two more trident wielders. Yeah, that that hurts a lot, and I'm down to less than half health. Time to time to swim through some through some ruins and get away from here. Like, truthfully, the ruins are the things keeping me alive. <laughs> the uh, the occasional sound of uh, drowned death behind me after a trident throw is uh, quite amusing. Quite amusing. Or oh, can they snipe me through this gap? I bet they can. I bet they can. I don't trust them. I don't trust them. Okay, we're off of there. I've still not regen to full health, which is uh, mildly inconvenient, but where are they? There, there's one of them. Let's see if we can close in. He's around this pillar. That's better. Oh, I knocked him too far away. Okay, we got him. Did I get the trident? I did not get a trident. That's a shame. Okay, after taking those two out, cleanup was relatively swift. Two trident wielders, wow. Okay, no, no problem, I suppose. Okay, so now that the local residents have been taken care of, let's let's first take our prize. Mmm, coal and wheat with a fishing rod, rod of luck of the sea. That That's amazing. Uh, the other things that we've spotted are... Re really? Really? I hear you. Where are you? You want, you want to go for round two, my friend? That's fine. Uh, the other thing I've seen are little bits of suspicious. Oh, we've got a shirt. We've got a shirt. These are what I'm here for. This is going to be one that I really have no idea about. It is the Snort Pottery Shard. Beautiful. A bit of wheat. <laughs> And now we play a game of how much of this beautiful structure are you willing to destroy in search of your little dopamine hit. And you know what? I think it's quite a lot of this structure. I think I'm willing to destroy a fair amount of it. It's getting a little dark over here. Don't worry. jack lanterns have got your back. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Not seeing much suspicious sand or gravel around, but I do know they're here. And I'm also making so much sand at the same time. The only non-renewable resource in the game, really. Or the only one that most people care about. Well, we only got one shirt there, but somewhere in here, I'm almost certain there's more. Oh, look, we got we got another chest over here. Why won't the chest open? There we go. We got a buried treasure map out of that. I wonder why that took so long. Is there, is there really another drowned here? Dude, you do not want to mess with me. Okay, what well, we got out of here? Is it is it really a fire charge? No, a piece of coal. Even better. <laughs> Oh, here we've got a shirt. Is it different from the one that we already have? It's a shelter pottery shirt. That's nice. Shelter and snort so far looking good. Oh, this one might be another one. I believe there are four for us to get here. Uh, it's another shelter one. Okay, that, that that's cool. Shelter is important. I can... Uh, was that? That sounded different. Oh, I don't like the idea that maybe I didn't pay attention enough there. Another shirt. Which one do we have here? It's a third one. Angler pottery shirt. Nice. Make sure either of these are what I'm looking for. Oh, look. A hidden chest. These are terrible chests. Terrible chests. Nice nice bit of uh, suspicious grab, uh, sand on the floor. And uh, is that a gold nug? I'm not, I'm not that bothered by gold nuggets. I've got to be honest. <laughs> Can reach another two bits from here. I'm not sure. That's a bit of coal. Yeah, beautiful. And then over here we've got. Oh, is that is that an iron axe? Interesting. 
Obviously indicative of the uh, the cultures that used to uh, used to reside here. Uh, they were gold smelters that made iron axes. Yeah, somehow that makes sense. Yeah, these are some pretty extensive ruins. Uh, I've done the big building there. Those two. Just about to do this one. There's one over there. One over here. A shipwreck. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Another gold nugget, and in this one looks like we're getting another gold nugget, rich in gold, rich in gold. Indeed, a gold helmet and everything. Okay, that's that's cool. The fabled wooden hoe, magical. So it turns out I was very willing to destroy a lot of this area to make sure I got to the sand, but I believe we call that archaeology. Now I've come over and started lighting up this boat here, but I didn't see any uh, any serious chests. Let's go for a proper explore. Here's one over here. Suspicious stew. No, not not quite what I'm after, but that's fine. In fact, I'm just going to leave all of that. The suspicious stews are fun, but that's probably about. It. Is that is that really it? Is that is that all the chests we've got on this one? Yep, that's that's really it. That's right. There's no more to this vessel. Okay, let's let's go and take stock of what we got here. Okay, I got a very huge amount of sand here. Uh, I got some smithing templates and some shards from the uh, the desert temple. We got a bunch of other shards from around here. Of course, copper from fighting the drowned heads. Suspicious stew. Let's have a look. Uh, it gave me jump boost. Uh, that's that's great underwater. That is great underwater. Do they both do the same? I don't know. We're not going to find out today. We'll find out the other one later. Uh, let's let's pop this away. Oh, the most magnificent of structures, the desert well. Also an opportunity for some archaeology. I don't know whether this is unique. It is unique for archaeology. I am astounded. How do I now find out whether there's more suspicious sand in here or not? Look, there was one underneath. Did you see that? Look, right under here. Are we going to get another piece of pottery here? I sure do hope so. This, this is amazing. This is great. Uh, brewery and arms up. Hands in the air, my friends. Let's have a look and see what we got into here. Uh, it looks just like ordinary sand. Uh, they are drowning. Looks like ordinary sand, though. And it's a good job this is here, because who knows where else I could have got any water from. Uh, what, 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 a, what an absolute godsend. Alright, I found it. I found what the uh, what the, the update broke. Uh, it turns out a bunch of minecarts have gone missing. Uh, there was one in my nether area that connected to my nether rail system. That's gone. And ooh. <laughs> uh, and then this one. This one's also disappeared. I almost guarantee there are more. I want to put this. That's, that's not what I wanted at all. I want to put this facing in this direction. Slam that down there. Put the minecart in place and of course a bit of redstone you know what let's just let that slime block go to the gods they uh, smiled upon me and gave it back okay so we've fixed this we, we, we need to go test but yeah uh, if if you play on the server and uh, you have minecarts out there uh, particularly think about forest hello uh, you you should probably check your minecarts see see if they're actually still there I suppose it serves me right for well that one I can't dispense but the ones in the nether I could have put into a dispensing system uh, I've not shown you the uh, the cobble generator here so let, let's just go up this way uh, or I may have shown you it but it's it's very cool i use um armor stands here to trigger trip wires and thus i can have uh, a whole bunch of just kind of i'm going to say free floating pistons out here pushing down a whole bunch of generated cobble and it sounded like the tnt worked fine but let's watch it again i think it's every five pushes something like that there's a tnt lit down it goes boom collected by water drop down to an auto smelter which it turns out is kind of awkward uh if i want if i want cobble <laughs> Uh, it turns out I've got to I've got to do other things. Let's let's go and look at that. <laughs> if I want to cobble, I've got to go to the extravagant efforts of plugging up this hole here. Uh, that's that's not great. I should I should come up with a little lever or something like that. I don't know if there's a way that I can move hoppers in. In fact, I know there's not a way I can move hoppers in. But I wonder if there's a way I could set up a water flow to move the hoppers over. That would be uh, move the items over a hopper. That would be ideal. Anyway, I've gone out on a raid with Misaligned and on a uh, had another live stream. Look at my boots. Look at my boots. They're down there with the Vex armor trim. That's right. We went to the Woodland Mansion. Oh, and then we're going up. Huh? Oh. And then back down. Oh, here we go. Hey! Ba -ba 
and a hoe. Had a great time, managed to pick up. There's the Vex armor trim. Uh, of course, here's the things that we got from the little outing we did together. You and me, the video watchers, here's the stuff. Of course, all of this came from the Sand Temple. I think this one is the underwater ruin, and then these two are from the Desert Well. Beautiful, beautiful. I also got this on another outing. Uh, I've got a grand amount of stuff together, and I think we need to figure out some sort of way of displaying these. I think this might be a job for another day, because I'm looking at the time down below. But we've got a whole bunch of stuff that we need to do here, and I think the first thing I need to do is show off all these armor trims that I've got. Now the June one, thankfully, I've, you get enough. You get enough, it turns out, that I don't really need to duplicate those. But these, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get some diamonds out. and uh, go go see if we can't duplicate these out there. They're not the cheapest, it has to be said. We could definitely uh, be, be uh, affording a little bit cheaper here, but for the snout, I know I need some blackstone. Four of those would be ideal. And now I don't actually know what we need. Oh wait, I do know what we need for the Vex armor stand. And what do you know, I just made a whole bunch of it over here, the, the Vex armor trims. So that is useful. Wandering Trader sells a cherry sapling. Oh, that's fine. Thank you, but I have a growth just, just from over the hill on me. That, yeah, I, I, turns out I, uh, I'm very, very close, very close to some new chunks. I didn't know, I didn't know. Uh, so I want to make four of these. Uh, can we, can we not? Oh, of course not, because I need to duplicate it like so. But then can I make two again? Okay, there's four. I'd like to make one more for the specific reason that I want to have one left over. <laughs> And of course, the snout with the blackstone. Same problem where I need to uh, pick it up and put it down. It's not going to do that that way. Okay, wait. What am I? What am I missing? By not looking on the right page. That's that's what I'm missing. That's hilarious. Okay, let's do a thing that you can only really do in a long-term world. We're going to drop three helmets just like that. Uh, we're going to drop three sets of leggings, of course. Would you believe it? I'm going to drop uh, three entire sets of armor. Whew, that's... That's expensive, but I think that's good. And of course, I need something to actually trim the armor with. I think display models can go with just redstone. That's a, that's a good idea. I, I think, I think. It might not be, it might not be. Maybe, maybe we'll change our mind. That was a lot of diamonds, though. Let's get into here, and I want to upgrade. I'm going to keep one of these, drop four in there. We're going to go the helmet and, of course, the redstone. So that's the helmet, the chest plate the legs and the boots okay great that's brilliant <laughs> same thing with the vex this was probably the one that took the most work to get great that, that's good uh, and then finally these smithing templates these are the june ones the ones you get from the desert temple that's why i didn't want to shift clip because it ends up putting it in weird places now from from the icons you wouldn't know really that there was anything different would you uh let's just clear a little space off on my hot bar here all right so we've got snout this should be looking pretty good there's the full oh i like i like the legs they're looking good it's, it's actually a really really nice pattern here uh let's go for june as well this is what we spent all our time doing oh yes nice i've seen this one around a lot totally doesn't look like a target whatsoever and here finally the vex Ooh. oh look it looks like the uh the pillager clothing i like that uh, a lot. Oh, they've got backs as well. <laughs> this still looks like a target. I don't know what, why, why would they put a target on my back like that? It's definitely one of the more detailed ones. This, this guy also, um, has quite a bit more detail than, than the Vex. The Vex is a flex. It's got to be said. Oh, look at those eyebrows. Mmm. Maybe, maybe I want to change mine. That's, that's much better than just the little blob on the sides. But there are 17 of these, and I only have three, so our work here is very much not done. And do you know what other work is very much not done? These things back here, the engines, they're looking pretty good, if I'm to be honest, and the majority of the blocks are very much in place, but there is one block amongst all of this that is by far the hardest to uh, to, to gather. I didn't realise when I was placing it. Like, I... I 
I kind of knew that it would be a little bit awkward. I didn't realise quite how awkward it would be to go and gather these raw gold blocks. Uh, I, I need literal hundreds of them. Uh, even with fortune, it's something like three gold ore per block here. So, you know, I've had to go and gather quite a few already. Let's go and grab what I've got from the supplies out here. Uh, you would imagine a man such as myself would have hundreds of blocks on hand. No, this much. And this, this has cost me five lives already. There has been some hilarious situations, mostly involving wide open spaces, uh, baby zombies stealing my stuff and having skeletons to back him up uh, and I just I don't I don't have the resources it's crazy uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna that's that's not me admitting defeat obviously we're gonna go ahead can I break that block thank you uh, it's just gonna take a little bit longer than I would have thought to put this in place uh, is it really a double thick wall I thought it was just a single I'm sure I will uh, double check on that at some point but that's it that gold gold gasket that's that's all I wanted it for. Uh, there is also going to be a stream of glass blocks running down the middle. Let's, let's have a look. What, how, what makes this look a little bit better? Some, something like that. I wonder if we could use other blocks to add as some sort of focusing device uh, because you're going to be able to look in through the side. There's going to be little walkways out there. Uh, you're going to be able to look in and see the, the workings of the inner engine. Uh, maybe people complaining about how there's Enderman everywhere. But I'm afraid with that I have run out of time for today's episode. I have done all that I can. I'm in fact a week behind. Like I say, five lives have been spent here. Uh, I will see you next time where I've got somewhere to go for a strategic mining session so we can prepare the grounds for a new farm. Uh, got, a, got a collection to build up and I need some items to be able to make that collection happen. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing next time. Uh, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.